You say what? You relinquish your power when you say you're simply dead. Exactly. So look, I'm glad you said that. Because look, that leads me right to here. I hope I'm making this like clear and simplifying it down because but this is um, why I'm thankful for the prophet Noble Drew Ali though because the prophet Noble Drew Ali brought forth this information back to our people which is national mission statement proclamation of status and jurisdiction of the Moorish Americans Noble Drew Ali the prophet if you don't know who he is this is a picture of him right here Right? This is a picture. He told people, I come before the fire. If you as a people don't get behind me, you will not make it through. Everything this man has said back in the day, in the 1920s, really 1913, has been happening. Slowly but surely, it's been happening. Check this out. This Check this out right here, Jay. Noble Joe Ali said, this new nation of I know I know the words probably look super tiny, but check it out though. This new nation of West African descendants has come has now come to lawfully see that to lawfully not just talking but words and power backing them up to lawfully link themselves again with the families of nations and to worship under their own vine and fig tree which has been inherit which has been the inherited birthrights of all men and women through the descendant nature of their ancient forefathers and foremothers this is the true and inalienable inheritance to every member of the human family <laughs> you know what? What? He said, go to those. When I say he, I'm talking about Noble Juali. He said, go to those that know law. He keeps backing up what he's saying because he keeps talking about we are now lawfully coming back to link ourselves with the nations of the earth. Black is not a nation of the earth. African American is not a nation on the earth. American Indian is not a nation on the earth. It's not. Like I said, like I'm showing, you can do your own research because people be like, Cushman, I need another source of information because that other information that you gave was, I, I need another source. Okay, go dig. This ain't just just pop on the page and then you just you think you're gonna get it all you're not just gonna get it all off a 60 second video clip or a 30 second video clip it's not for that it's to spark it's to spark some kind of thought in your own mind where you can dig and go look up some some sources it's just a spark it's just a spark G. That's all it is. It's just a spark to, to get our people to, to start thinking again. Just like the prophet said. You're not going to get everything in a 30 second, 60 second clip or a three minute video. Hopefully it sparks something in your mind when you're like, yeah, let me, let me, let me, let me dig a little bit. Let me, let me, let me dig a little, a little something on my own. That's all. That's all. So look, let's go right here again. You see how he said to lawfully link themselves again with the families of nations, okay? So, lawfully, this is law. Universal Declaration of Human Rights, okay? So, here we go again. Here we go again. Article 15, everyone has the right to a nationality. Hold up, ain't you a human? Whether you want to say H-U-E-M-A-N, Hugh, huh? We can go there too. H-U-E-M-A-N, okay, you're a human. For sure. Islam, you say you're a human. Cool. Humans still have to have a land that they're from. That land signifies their culture. 
That land signifies their language. That land signifies their inheritance. That land signifies their birthrights. That land symbolizes everything about that person, that natural person. You saying that you don't have to do that leaves you in a state of civil death. Remember, it's two sides of death. You have the secession of your circulation in your body, your body, your blood stop flowing. That's one. The second way is your civil death. That means you alive, but you dead at the same time, though. You feel me? You alive, yet dead. And that part right there has been held back. Supposed to be suffering like that. So where is this land that we took for America? Yeah, America is the America. The, the Americas is our land. Hold up. Let me show y'all. You need you need some visual aids, and I like that because I like visual aids. Visual aids. Visual aids. Check this out. That's a good question that you asked too. You said, "Where is this land?" Here you go right here. All of this land on the planet, okay? But if you want to specifically talk about American Moors, okay, or our Moroccans, this land right here, you said Moors have a land. Where is this? All this right here, this entire planet, okay? This entire planet, we inherit it. Okay, this entire planet. But if you specifically want to talk about American Moors, Moorish Americans, you have to say a landmass. Okay, you got to get out of that tribalism because that's Roman. That's how they started to divide our people up by saying, you this tribe, you're that tribe, you're this tribe, you're that tribe. That's how we started to get divided instead of just rocking with the empire over here this is the empire all right this is the empire you said how do we claim that though through human rights yes nationality is the order of the day you can only be something if you're competent in what you're saying so when you say first off we're dealing with geography right now okay exactly asiatic is the race right asiatic is the race Nationality is your bloodline pedigree. So when you say North America, first of all, you got to say America is a continent. All this is a continent. So you got North America, okay? You got Central America, all right? Peace, Joe. And then you got all the islands. All this is the Americas. All these, all this land right here, all these people, they're Americans. So when you go here, and you say South America, you're talking about Americans, our Moroccans, our Morticanos, our Morticanas. You're still dealing with Americans. You see, the trick has been to make our people divide themselves up in the mind. All right? In the mind. But when you talk about where is our land at, we're standing on our land. The thing is, our people haven't claimed the land. Because when you say, you're black, my hoodie is black. When you say that a hybrid European is white, you just sanction them to be here. That's, what, that, that's exactly what happens. Appreciate you. That's exactly what happens. So... Right, invisible lines. So when you don't claim a land, that's like this. Check it out. It, what time is it? Okay, so when you got when you got somebody that says, let's say like an Asian, right? An Asian to say whatever that name is. So when you hear that name, you automatically gonna be like, okay, you're Asian, right? Whether they're Korean, from Hong Kong, whether they're from Seoul, whether they're from Japan, or Manchuria, China, something like that. Wherever they're from, they say they're Asian. 
Asians, they're moors. But check this out, though. But they know that. But check it out, though. Right, divide and conquer. Divide the mind. The continent of Africa, okay? We all can agree that Africa is a continent. But it's funny that we don't look at America like a continent, right? Because of the school system. Let's go further. So Africa is a continent. What do you have in a continent? You have countries in a continent. Algeria, Libya, Egypt, Sudan, Ethiopia, Kenya, Tanzania, Zaire. We can keep going. You know what I'm saying? Niger, right? Mozambique, Gabon, Angola, Zambia. Bots that the earth is flat. Whether you think the earth is round, you're still living on land. Okay? You're still living on land. And remember, people are either, people either name the land that they live on, or they take on the name of the land that it is. Huh? Huh? And that's why way bigger than North America, but on the maps they shrink Africa. Exactly. Hold up. My music again. Let's go back here. Let's go back here. Let's go back here. Let's fill in this song right here. I don't know why they want to tweet now. So look. We looking at land, land, air, and water. Our bodies are made up from primarily of water. So obviously we need water. It's an element. Air is an element. Land is what we live on. So we got shelter. Right? We got shelter on the land that we live on. People make shelters. What is that acronym? Put that together. Land, air, water. Law. Those are the keys.